Hello, welcome to day number two for the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge. Hello everyone in the chat. We got Sam and Cornell and Lauren and Umicorn. Hello everyone, hi Cody Bear. Welcome to day number two. I'm excited because we're actually having the real first challenge starting today. If you guys missed yesterday's challenge and you're new to Daily Creative Challenge, you're new into XD, I highly recommend you check out that video as well. I'm Elise, I'm your host. I'm an Adobe XD Enterprise instructor and I teach fun and educational content, design, all about design, on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all the things, making design education a good time. So hope you have a good time with me today. All right, so let me show you first the Daily Creative Challenge landing page. This is the page that's gonna have everything that you need. You won't get lost as long as you can get to this page. So this is behance.net forward slash challenge forward slash XD. The big blue button is where you're able to enroll into the challenge. And this is running from November 8th yesterday to December 10th. The first two weeks, I'm gonna be live with you. And then the following two weeks, we're gonna have the replay of these two weeks. So you're gonna actually have four weeks to complete this challenge. If you're a slacker like myself, and you're like, oh, you know, I'm gonna dabble in one challenge, skip a day, dabble in another, totally fine. You know, this is the holiday season. Just relax into it, start to just enjoy playing around in XD. I highly recommend just trying to enjoy yourself. That's how you're gonna get much further four weeks to complete. So each day you are gonna receive a challenge. Today is challenge number one. We had a little mini challenge yesterday. I did see some people did that, but today is the official, uh, first official challenge, which you are gonna see right below here. So it says unlock the challenge. Here is where you're going to see that first challenge, which is designing a home screen for a mu music video app. And you can watch the video, which is gonna be this video, <laughs> and then you can also get started and download the Adobe XD practice file that I've created for you. It's just a starting point, and that's what we're going to be reviewing today. From there, you can join the community chat. This is Discord. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Here is where you'll see the feedback channel. This is the challenge or within feedback, category, the challenge channel, is where you're gonna be able to upload your challenges to receive feedback. So here Drew had uploaded his dark style Behance XD challenge page redesign from yesterday's mini challenge. He uploaded a video and an image looking great, loving it by the way. And this is where you're gonna get feedback from mentors, from other people in the community and don't forget, you get to also give feedback to other people. Start to build your network. Start to build your community. The other important channel in here that I'm gonna mention is tips and tricks under advice. This is where I'm gonna be uploading every day a little PDF, a little slideshow with some of the things I'm reviewing during the live streams. So this is where you'll see my tips and advice. And feel free to you know put some introductions, introduce yourself to the community there. You can watch the daily show and then get feedback from others in the community. If you have not downloaded, Ado downloaded Adobe XD, you can download it right here. You can get XD, it's free. You can also see the Discord channel or get access to that right here. All right, so feeling comfortable, feeling cozy. Let's get into the design a little bit. I wanna show you what we're working with or what we're gonna be making, what we're working on. Um, so this is what your design file is gonna look like, minus this whole little deck that I've created for you guys. So here you're gonna see, it says day number two, this is your first challenge and your design prompt here. Some inspiration, I'm liking the dark colored, the dark background, some of those bright images, that feels music video to me. You'll see that a lot of movie players, 
player sites like Netflix and so forth are usually kind of dark in the background so that the images and the video content really stand out in contrast. So that's why I'm showing some of that inspiration. Here down below, if you double click into it, you'll see some uh, resources for you. So if I go over in the right hand side in my property inspector, I can see icons that I have access to or some where I can find some icons where you can find fonts, photos and tutorials. Sometimes if this is your first time getting into XD, it's like really nerve wracking and I get it. I was not very good when I first began. And one of the great resources here is the let's, uh, sorry, right here is all of these tutorials and best practices in here. So letsxd.com gives you access to all these other videos and tutorials to help guide you if this is not enough, okay? All right, so let's talk about what's trending. So the next two weeks, if you guys haven't watched the first video, I'm gonna talk about UX, UI trends for 2022. Hey, now let's start thinking about the new year, what's gonna be coming in what we should be expecting. So video trends for 2022. Head of Instagram, Adam Mosseri says that video is driving an immense amount of growth online for all major platforms. So video is gonna be a key focus for Instagram. And you're just gonna see that across all channels, all social media, video is gonna become really quite big. So this quote here by 2022, online videos will make up more than 82% of all consumer internet traffic. So we're going to see 82% of people who are going online are going to be watching videos. So what does that mean for us designers? We need to be able to prototype and design with video best practices in mind and understand that we need to be able to implement those into our designs. Vertical is also going to continue to rise. This became really popularized by TikTok. So uh, this other quote here, vertical videos have a 90% higher completion rate than horizontal videos. So most people are willing to watch fully the video when it's horizontal. And this is actually a music video by Taylor Swift that was made just for vertical. So we're gonna see more and more of that. And guess what? We're designing a music video app. So we're gonna design it vertical for the future. Um, and then why we're talking about this also is Adobe XD just released this feature last month, just a few weeks ago, the ability to play video prototypes. So this is super exciting if you haven't tried out this feature yet. Um, and here are some resources that I'm gonna talk about today, how you can convert your video there are some restrictions for video, so I wanna talk about that with you guys today. And this is the design file that I'm sharing with you guys. We've got this cool girl music video. You can see other hottest videos in the week. You can play this video and see it full, horizontal, full vertical screen there. And we're gonna play around with this. Let's have some fun. Let's make some music video designs. We are gonna begin by creating an artboard. All right, it always begins with an artboard. And in order to do that, I can hit A for the short, that's the shortcut, or over here in the toolbar, second one down is the artboard, and I can select a size over on the right-hand side. I'm gonna do iPhone 12. If you guys recall yesterday, we played around with shapes, throwing in images into shapes. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna make a rectangle shape because this is where I want the video to sit in my design. So I just hit R, that's the shortcut for rectangle, but all your tools are over here on the left-hand side in your toolbar. Again, I cover some of this um, on yesterday's episode if you wanna watch that in more depth, but here I've created my shape and I wanna drag and drop in a video. It works just like images where you can take a video and drag it right in and it's gonna automatically mask. So cool. So how do we find a video, right? That could be one of the biggest challenges. Well, what video do we put in there? And let's show one of the resources you can use is Adobe Stock. And there's a couple of options you have here. You can go into videos in that category and you can search music video or whatever you want. 
honestly, if you don't want to do a music video app, you want to do any sort of video app, feel free, have creative reign, enjoy yourself. Okay. Make it, make it fun for you. Music video is fun for me because I love music. And here I can actually, so this is the video I selected. I can download a preview of it. It's going to have this watermark on it, but that's okay. We're just playing around and you can download that preview and upload it into XD. You also can go in up here, instead of going to videos, you can go into free. This is where you're going to find tons of free resources, whether it's illustrations, videos, images from Adobe stock as well. So I can search for whatever type of content I want. And on the left hand side in the filters, I can select videos as the asset type. And what this means is that these are not watermarked. They are free for me to use. I can download them and I can put them into XD. So if you don't like that, like watermark, which watermark means it says like Adobe stock like this, if you don't want that, then you can download a free video or find whatever video you want. Maybe you're going to record something at home, have a little fun, maybe make a little video, how to cook a, how to cook an egg that you want to record and upload that totally fine too. This is just an, a place that you can find videos. Now there is a limitation with videos. Once you've downloaded, it's going to be at least from, from Adobe stock, it's going to be a dot MOV file and and XD doesn't accept that. It accepts MP4s. So what do we do about that? Don't worry, I got you. So one of the, uh, the links that I provided here in the resources is this freeconvert.com video compressor. So here is where I'm gonna just put that into the chat for you guys as well, freeconvert.com forward slash video compressor. And you can choose a file here. So if I want to have doo -doo -doo, this MOV, I can open that file and I can change the output to MP4. The other thing I'm doing in freeconvert.com is compressing the file size because it does need to be under 15 megabytes. So that's why I'm using this, this site to convert it to an MP4 and to compress it. So it's a smaller size. And then once I've done that, if it's under 15 megabytes, so it says 13 megabytes, I'm good to go. Now, if this is confusing in you and you're like, ah, oh, this is so scary. I don't understand all this stuff with video. Just feel free to use the video I put in here from Adobe stock and just work off of that. So that's totally okay too. Otherwise, once you have an MP4 under a certain file size, you can just drag it and drop it right in. Boom. There we go. Once I've done that in my layers panel, I can see that this has been grouped. There's a rectangle and there is a video inside. If I want to move this video, I can move it to where I want. I can make it larger. Maybe I just want to have this girl in the front and center. I can do that. You just need to make sure you've selected that layer. From there, I then want to maybe change some of the video settings. So I can select video and over on the right hand side in my property inspector is where I can make some of the changes to that video. One of the main things I want to change for this video is I want to change it from playing on tap, meaning if I play it, it's going to play when I tap the image or the video. I want to change it from that to play automatically. So when I play it, it's just automatically going. So those are some options there. The other thing you can do is over on the left right here, I can also crop the video or trim the video. So if I only want it to go to like 13 seconds, I can do that. I can also loop it. So there is some editing capabilities here, which is pretty cool as well. All right, so now we understand a little bit about video. If you just got that, 
great. <laughs> you are now understand how to use videos in Adobe XD and you are well on your way. But if we want to fancify it, we want to add some other elements, make it look more like a screen. Let's add those. At the top here, you can see I have this black shading on top. I have some images, some text, a button. And in order to create that black shade, I'm going to make another rectangle on top. Over on the right hand side in my property inspectors where I can make changes, I'm going to undo the border. I'm going to go into the fill and instead of having a solid color, I'm going to change it to linear gradient. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> no, let's make some changes and edits to this. So here I'm selecting this little circle over here in my linear gradient and I'm going to make that black. I'm also going to select the other circle all the way to the right and make that black as well. The difference here is I'm going to change the opacity over here on the right all the way down to zero. So it's going from 100% to 0% opacity. And that's what's creating this nice like black shade on top, which allows me to then put text on top of hold I'm doing a the keyboard shortcut T for text I can also select it right here in the toolbar and I can then change you know and add some uh, text here so Nuna Jones that's her her name now um, then I can go ahead and make some edits to that text if I want on the right hand side in my property inspector because I've selected that text I can make edits and changes over here on the right, changing the font size, the weight, the color, whatever I please. And now you can read it much more clearly because it has some contrast against that background. All right, now I'm going to add this like image of this woman singing. Uh, that's her little profile pic. I'm going to add a circle. You can use E as the shortcut and I can hold down shift to make a perfect circle. Once I've done that, I am going to go into my plugins. Again, uh, if we can just put into the chat how someone can learn about plugins for the first time. We don't have time to cover it today, but what you need to know is these are extensions to XD that allow you to do more cool stuff, basically. And here I'm using the free stock search for XD plugin. And I'm gonna like look up Singer. These are free images that I can use. When I have something selected like this shape, I can select an image and it's going to automatically place that into that shape. Woohoo! Isn't that cool? I mean, I feel like that's like a little bit magic, little magic there. If I want to change the, that uh, placement of the image, I can just double click to get into that particular layer and I can make this a bit bigger. I can move it where I want it to be in that shape. I can also remove that border and here we go. It's looking like a real side a little already. Then I'm going to make a button R for rectangle. This time I am going to actually inside the rectangle, there's like a little circle and I'm going to just drag that little circle all the way in. So it's rounded corners. You can also do that over here in your property inspector and I can change that if I wanted, you know, if I wanted it to be 12 or 18, what have you, you can make those adjustments there as well. I'm going to go for rounded. Rounded typically means friendlier. So that's why I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use this pink gradient, pink and purple gradient and add some text. Now this is my little button. I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm selecting both of the layers and just shrinking it down, holding shift. So that's like a little small button. I want this button smaller because I want to add another big button over here and I want this to be more prominent because this is the action I want the user to take. So that's why it's going to be larger. I'm going to now select my two little layers and I'm going to make them into a group. Right click, group. 
That means I can move this about together at the same time. The whole group goes along when I move it. And then I'm gonna copy and paste it. And I'm going to use this same thing over here for the play button, except I'm gonna hold down shift, make this larger, bring down that circle here. Okay, so we've actually got a cool, a, a good question from Daniel in the chat about Get XD. It's free, but then it takes you to a $9.99 a month page. So what you, it gives you a free trial, and then if you cancel your trial within those 10 days, within those seven days, you're gonna get the free version of XD. So it's gonna maintain and still be free. So don't worry, just make sure you cancel it right away and then you'll have that free version. So it's kind of a, I know it's not exactly super clear there, but that is that little workaround to get it for free. Now the other plugin here in my plugins is icons for design. And I am going to find all these fun icons I wanna use in here. And I'm gonna just use this little play button and I'm gonna bring it over here. Then I can make changes it, to it to my, in my property inspector over on the right, make that a little bit thinner, the border. There I go, there's my play button. And then from there, I can add the background. So I'm selecting the artboard. I'm changing the background appearance to all black. And then you can just add some more of the text and images like we did yesterday just just drawing in a shape and throwing in an image there um, i found these images in the plugin for free stock search so that's that but the last thing i want to share share with you is how you can then go from this screen into this one if you want to prototype it and if this is your first time in XD, your first design file and you're brand new, just creating this first page is wonderful and just focus on that. But if you're ready to take it to the next level, you wanna start playing around with prototyping, then I'm gonna show you how to do that right quick. So I'm gonna make a version of this, just copying and pasting it basically. I'm gonna get rid of the elements I don't want and here, in my mask group in my layers, I am going to take that rectangle shape and I'm just going to drag it all the way down because I want it to take over the full page. So same thing in this, like with this layer, oops. I'm just gonna move it down so it's like taking over that full screen. I'm gonna move that and I'm gonna move these down and I'm gonna move that and I'm just going to actually flip this around over here in my property inspector. And then you're gonna get a gist for how this is going to work. So now when I'm ready to prototype, I'm gonna go over on the left-hand side and there's, I'm in design mode, but I'm gonna go now into do, 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 prototype mode. And from prototype mode, I'm gonna select this play button and it has this little blue arrow and I'm gonna drag it over to this artboard. I'm going to change the transition to auto animate because I want it to have that like nice transition from this rectangle and kind of getting bigger into this second one here. So let's play it and see how it feels. Ooh, okay, there's some movement there. <laughs> there's some movement. Um, and so it kind of just works like has this like interesting little little effect with this background. I actually don't like that. This moves with it. So I'm gonna just change that. Let's see. There we go. So I just wanted the movement for the Nuno Jones and the button to move down and then the, the whole video took over the screen. All right, so now what do I do? How do I share this? How do I get feedback? There are a couple options. And the one that I'm going to recommend is you can actually take these two artboards and you can select this thing, this button right here called share. And it's gonna create a share link for you. 
from their super cool feature now that's just been released, I guess two weeks ago, is the ability to then select Behance and you can actually initiate right here, uploading it directly into Behance. Then if you want to have it be discoverable in Behance, you can then do, 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 add in settings, the project tag, XD creative challenge. You can publish this and then you can take this link and put it into Discord if you want. You also have the capability of just taking your images like so, file export, selected to export those as images if you want. So there's a couple of options. There are a few for you to start getting used to uploading your stuff, sharing it with other people and getting the community to view your work. All right, that was day two. I am so excited to see your guys' design files tomorrow. Can't wait to congratulate you on your work. You guys go and out there and create a fun little app, enjoy yourself, and I'll see you guys for day three. All right, bye.